What's up, guys? So we're joining me here from Sports Nerd Web. Uh, this is Sports Nerd Web Weekly, Episode Four. Uh, this week, um, got a lot of lot to get into uh, about some video games. Uh, so first, I'll get the bad news out of the way first. Um, if you saw on my blog earlier this week, uh, it was announced that the Division's next DLC, Survival, was delayed, um, along with Update 1.4. Uh, now, originally, these two were supposed to come out uh, together. Uh, it was they were supposed to come out together at some time in September, um, and all we know now, um, they haven't gave, given us an, an exact release date, but they have said that update 1.4 is supposed to come out sometime in October, and the the second DLC survival should come out sometime soon after that. Now, this delay will also push back their third deal, scheduled DLC, Last Stand, which was supposed to come out at the end of this year, and now it's going to push that into, into 2017. So, it's definitely, I think in the short term, it's not really good news. It's definitely not good news for Division fans, because, um, like me, I'm a huge Division fan, I love that game, but I haven't played it in, you know, like in a month or two, because there hasn't been any new content to play. And so with this delay, you know, that's obviously the last thing that we want to be hearing. But the reasons for this delay, it, it could it could be good in the long run. Um, because they're, this, they're delaying this stuff so that they can really build the foundation of the game. Um, get, you know, work out, work out a lot of the kinks, the bugs, and, and all that, and the network issues that they've had with it. Uh, in, other, in other news as well, uh, it looks like Gran Turismo Sport has been delayed. Uh, it was originally supposed to come out on November 15th in North America and Japan. And now it looks like it's been pushed back uh, into, into 2017. And creator uh, Ka Kazunori Yama Yamauchi said, uh, said, quote, We do not want to compromise the experience in any way. While we cannot confirm a new release date at this time, we are more committed than ever to making... Gran Turismo Sport, the best Gran Turismo game to date. So, uh, I, I, I'm i not really a fan of Gran Turismo. I haven't really played any of them since the original PlayStation 1 games. Um, but, just like The Division, it's kind of not, not really good news for fans, but in the long run, it, it could be good news, you know, so it, if it's going to make the game a, a better experience. <coughs> and the last two weekends has been the Titanfall 2 beta. Uh, and if and if you've uh, kept up with my blog and YouTube channel and stuff, um, you, you've definitely seen that I made a lot of videos uh, regarding the beta, and I I really enjoyed it. I think the game's shaping up quite nicely. I think it's gonna I think it's gonna be really well. Um, one of the one of the main issues I had with the first week was the new Titan delivery system. How they how they changed it. In the first game, it was a timer. And then in the second one. Um, in the second one, it's a uh, it's like a percentage base uh, gauge that fills up faster depending on like your kill streak and how well you're playing and all that. And I thought it was just a really weird design choice because if one team is clobbering the other team, those those players are gonna be are gonna be getting their titans over the team that's losing, and they're just gonna keep hammering on them, you know. So I just thought it was a weird design choice, but. Uh, this last weekend was the second weekend, and you can tell that they adjusted the balancing issues with it. And like in the first week, there was times when I wouldn't have a Titan drop the entire match. But in the second week, every single match I played, I would have a Titan drop anywhere from two to four times. Um, more, more on the on the three to four side. So it 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 definitely made it a lot better. It definitely kept things interesting and. It seemed like the Titans were dropping pretty, uh, pretty well balanced between the the winning and losing team. It it kept the combat in the matches. It kept them really close and interesting and, and really fun to play. So, and the the pilot mechanics and combat and all that are, are really fun. Like I really like being being just the pilot. I almost like it better than fighting in the Titans. But the Titan combat is really is done really well too. So I can't wait for October 28th for that to come out. That's I, I think that's going to be a really good one. Um, like most fans of it, I, I just can't wait to see what they do with the single-player campaign because in the first game, that was one of the main issues everyone had with it was that they didn't have a single-player campaign. But they are going to have one in Titanfall 2, and 
uh, a lot of the a lot of the people on the development team on respawn are people that worked on a lot of the old Call of Duty, so it could be really good. <clears throat> also, this last Tuesday, uh, Deus Ex dropped, uh, and I've been playing that that a little bit this week. And um, <clears throat> on the blog uh, at sportsnerdweb.wordpress.com, I have a review in progress of that going on. Um, so you can so you can check that out. Um, so far, I've really been liking the game a lot. It's been really well. Um, it's a gorgeous game. It's got really it's got really good graphics. Uh, the the mechanics really tran transition from first to third person cover, from first person combat, stealth, and gun gunplay. Translate translate transitions really well into third person like cover. I was really worried about that at first, but it it's it's been done really well. Um, also, news on for the play, PlayStation Wise. Uh, Sony also said this week that PlayStation Plus, the price for PlayStation Plus for the year year subscription is going to be going up uh, ten ten more dollars. Um, I believe that's just on on the year price. Um, so like if you buy like if you buy just the one one, one month subscription, I think it's still like ten bucks or something. So. Uh, I think if you get like the three or six month, I think it goes up like five or seven bucks, something like that. But the subscription that's going up ten bucks is the year one, as far as I know. Um, so, and and my thoughts on that, like, yeah, it sucks, but supposedly this this supposedly this increase in this money is supposed to help them build a better network and just a better experience for PlayStation users and. If if it and if it is gonna make things truly better, then I don't you know I don't I don't really see a big issue with it. So, but while it does suck, it could be better in the long run. Uh, also, this week, uh, mine and my ladies podcast, we actually did a did a two episode special this week. Uh, part one uh, was just kind of like what we just kind of like a normal episode about video games and stuff like that. But in the second one, we did an all Doctor Who special. Um, so you can check that out. We have uh, I always post links to them on our on our individual Facebook pages, on the Sports Nerd Web Facebook page. Um, you can also check it out at Spreaker.com/user/sportsnerdweb, and I also put it on post it on Twitter too. You can follow us on Twitter at SportsNerd48. Uh, and, and if you and if you go to the go to the Spreaker address, you can actually go to all the episodes that we've ever done. It has a whole list of them. Um, I also have another podcast in the work. So far, it's going to be just me, but it's going to be an all video game one. Kind of like, kind of like you know what we do. This this is kind of more like a video one, but this one isn't a video one. Uh, last thing I, I, I want to get into, uh, we've been watching a lot more of the uh, Daredevil Netflix series, and I'm I'm really liking it so far. I I did write um, some early impressions I have on the series. I wrote a few weeks ago. Um, but what I'm going to do instead of writing like a review for every episode, I'm just going to uh, just stay tuned to the blog and I'll write a review about the entire season. I'll just do like seasonal reviews. Um, last night I watched episodes two and three and they're getting, it's getting crazy. That The ending to that episode three was nutty. It was really good. I'm really liking that show. But that's all I have for this week. Um, like I said, you can follow us on Twitter at SportsNerd48. Uh, you can check out the blog at SportsNerdWeb.wordpress.com. Uh, check out the podcast at Spreaker.com slash user slash SportsNerdWeb. Check out the YouTube channel at SportsNerdWeb. And our Facebook page at SportsNerdWeb. Thanks for watching. Um, if you like this video, please like it, comment, subscribe to the channels. Uh, you can follow me and check out my, my, my gaming live stream as well at Twitch.tv slash only. So I hope to see you there, and if you're in there, drop a line on the chat, come hang out and chat, and see what's good. Thanks for watching, you guys have a good one, take care of each other, be good, cheers.